and you're just a pretty face Just to be whoever you are is no disgrace Don't be scared if you don't fit in Look who's in the reject bin It's the Raggy Dolls Raggy Dolls, raggy dolls. Raggy dolls. dolls like you and me Raggy Dolls Raggy Dolls Made him perfectly So if you got a bump on your nose Or lumps on your toes Do not despair Be like the Raggy Dolls And say I just don't care Cause Raggy Dolls Raggy Dolls Are happy just to be Raggy Dolls One morning, just after breakfast, the Raggy Dolls were passing the storeroom when they heard a little voice sobbing. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, what am I going to do? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The Raggy Dolls decided to investigate. There's no one here, thought Satsak. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, sobbed the little voice again. Hello? called Princess as softly as she could. Are you all right? For a long time there was no reply. Don't be shy, said Lucy kindly. Perhaps we can help you. Very slowly, a long, soft face appeared. It was a little cart horse. Hello, said Dotty with a smile. How do you do? The little cart horse looked sad. I don't know. What's the matter? asked Back to Front. The little cart horse sighed. I don't know. Sadsack was confused. Don't you know anything? he asked. No, I don't even know what I am. You're one of Mr Grimes' soft toys, said Lucy. You're a little cart horse. And a very beautiful one, too, added Princess. Who is Mr. Grimes? Dotty explained all about Mr. Grimes and his toy factory, and how he was always making new soft toys for children to play with. The little cart horse looked puzzled. What does a toy cart horse do? The raggy dolls looked at each other. No one knew. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The little cart horse began sobbing again. What am I going to do? Don't cry, said Lucy. Perhaps all you've got to do is make some nice little boy or girl happy. How can I do that? I don't even know what a real cart horse is supposed to do. The raggy dolls felt very sorry for him, especially Sad Sack, who'd never met anyone quite as sad as himself. Suddenly, Lucy had a brainwave. I know. Would you like to meet a real cart horse? Oh, I'd love to, said the little cart horse. Do you really think I could? I don't see why not. Farmer Brown's got a lovely old cart horse called Hercules. He's retired now, but I'm sure he'd be glad of some company. He'd b -b -b be thrilled, added Hi-Fi. I n -n 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 know he would. That's settled then, said Dotty. We'll all go and visit Hercules. The little cart horse was very excited to be out of doors. He was interested in everything. What is that? What's it doing? Th 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 that's a tractor, said Hi-Fi. It's p p p ploughing off a f field. The little cart horse didn't stop asking questions until they reached the gate where Hercules stood. He was resting one leg and his eyes were closed. He seemed to be asleep. <coughs> Isn't he big? Oh, he's big, all right, said Dotty. Trouble is, he's also a bit hard of hearing. So saying, Dotty quickly climbed up the gate and jumped onto the back of the big cart horse. The others watched as she slid along his neck until she reached one of his ears. Wake up, Hercules! You've got visitors! Uh, well, what dizzy birds? Visitors! yelled Dotty. Oh, no need to shout. I see them. They brought someone who wants to meet you, explained Lucy. Hello, 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 said Hercules. 
What brings you here? Out for a nice long walk, hmm? Formidable, muttered Claude. His earring has got worse. The little cart horse stepped forward. Hello. I was wondering if you could help me. Bless my buckles and brasses. What a handsome little fella. He wants to know what cart horses do, yelled Dotty. You know, chuckled back to front, straight from the horse's mouth. Oh, yes, the way from the north is south. But I expect you'd rather hear all about cart horses, huh? <laughs> wouldn't you? The little cart horse nodded. Very well, said Hercules. Listen carefully. Look who's talking, thought Sansac. Years ago, before the motor car became as popular as it is today, cart horses did all the heavy work that men couldn't manage by themselves. Some of us pulled wagons loaded up with great beer barrels. Some of us used to walk for miles and miles along the towpath beside a canal, pulling long narrow boats. But that's not how we started. Oh, no. Long, long ago in the olden days, we went into battle. Those gallant knights wore such heavy armor, they had to be lifted onto us by a sort of crane. <laughs> we were the only kind of horse that could carry them. And, of course, there was working the land. That was the best work, especially harvest time. That was nowhere near as hard as plowing. Those plowmen used to take great pride in their work. And if one single furrow was crooked, they'd turn around and plow it again, straight. I had no idea Hercules knew so much about cart horses, said Lucy. Neither did I, thought said so. What noble creatures! You must feel jolly proud. But the little cart horse still looked sad. Not really. I'm so small, I couldn't do any of the things a real cart horse can do. Suddenly Claude stopped. Attention! He pointed. A tractor was lying on its side in a ditch, its plow sticking up in the air. R -r -r raggy dolls to the r -r rescue, stammered Hi-Fi. The raggy dolls raced towards the stricken machine. Water was filling the cab and the driver was trapped, unconscious. Im -im emergency, Im -im emergency, Hi-Fi called into his headphones. Fire brigade needed at Brown's farm, Im -im -im immediately. We can't wait for the fire brigade, said Dotty. If we don't get the driver out soon, he'll drown. There's a tow rope in the toolbox, called back to front. Maybe we could pull him out. It was a desperate idea. It's no use, wailed Lucy. Even if we all pulled together, we still wouldn't be strong enough. Where's the little cart horse? asked Sadsack. Here I am, he said breathlessly. I went to fetch Hercules. Good thinking! exclaimed Dotty. In no time at all, the rope was looped around the big cart horse's neck and attached to the tractor. Hercules heaved and heaved, and at last, the tractor was upright again. In the distance, they could hear the sound of the fire engine. We'd better be going, said Dotty. Well done, everybody, especially our little friend here. The little cart horse didn't know what to say. But Hercules did. <clears throat> Remember, lad, as long as men are men, a cart horse will always be useful, even a toy one. <laughs> he gave a wink and set off back to his field, majestically. It's not much of a life when you're just a pretty face. Just to be whoever you are is no disgrace